Founded in 1985, the Companions of the Cross is a community of priests wholly consecrated to Jesus through Mary, completely faithful to the magisterium of the Catholic Church, sustained by devotion to the Holy Eucharist, and open to all the charisms given by the Holy Spirit. Our society has placed a tremendous pressure on all Catholics these days, and we need to help them rediscover and rekindle their faith. Their faith in the living God, in their families, and in their parish communities. We also need to reach out to those who do not yet know the saving love of Christ. We, the Companions of the Cross, are here to help do just that. We're here to tell you about who we are, what our mission is, and how we're serving you through our efforts to serve the people of God and bring vibrant renewal to the Catholic Church and to ask for your help as we seek to accomplish these goals. The Companions of the Cross is a community of priests and seminarians in the heart of the Catholic Church. We believe that God called us into existence to carry out the great project announced by Pope John Paul II, a new evangelization in our time, to draw people into a deeper relationship to the Lord and to His Church. Our mission is one of re-evangelizing, renewing and revitalizing the church, one person and one parish at a time. Our founder, Father Bob, explains. Being a follower of Christ, being a Christian, being a Catholic, is not essentially at all uh, following a set of rules. It isn't essentially membership in a body. It is essentially a relationship with a person. And the person is the person of Christ. It's a relationship with Him. We have to come to know Him, not just know about Him. Got to know Him. Companions of the Cross describe their ideal in these terms. We surrender to the Lord individually and personally daily, in and through His Holy Mother. When we hear these ideals and others like them, we are moved, but we are also awed when we consider our own limitations. As a society of apostolic life, we serve mostly in ordinary parishes at the invitations of the local bishops. We live in community for our mutual support and spiritual growth. Our priests serve in a variety of different ministries as parish priests, as university chaplains, teaching theology, and in a variety of different outreaches, especially to the youth, to those alienated from the church, and to the poor. Our ministries to the poor start in our parishes where our men will look for the needs of the poor in that area, try to meet their needs both spiritually and materially. Then we go beyond that to the global picture where we uh, relate to uh, people in the third world. We reach out to those who have fallen away from the church uh, by evangelizing first the people in the pews and when they get on fire for the Lord, uh, they usually go out and evangelize their family members, relatives, their peers, their friends, and they, bring, and they bring them back to the church. Wherever we go as Companions of the Cross, we make reaching out to young people a high priority. Young people, like, they're looking for answers. They're trying to find meaning in their life. They're trying to find fulfillment. And we're ready to proclaim to them that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And that in Jesus, they will find what they're looking for. The mission of the Companions of the Cross on university campuses is to be a Catholic presence through our chaplaincies to reach out to our youth today who are really searching. A lot of them are lost, they're confused, they're not very grounded in their faith. But we try to be a presence there to reach out with them and to preach the gospel in a way to excite them in their faith, to get them rooted in their faith. We do that through daily mass, through offering confession, through retreats, through Bible studies, through having a drop-in center where they can just come and hang out and feel accepted among their peers. It's a wonderful ministry. We need to help build and support stronger families and marriages and help couples to teach their children the fullness of the faith. 
We also need to help lay people come into the fullness of their indispensable role in the mission of the church. And we need your spiritual and financial support as we do our best to carry out the mission that we believe God has given us.